Radio, Raheem, with Tyson Fury. Uh, you heard, the only booze we heard tonight is when you said that this might be the last one. 94,000 showed up tonight. Is there any possible way that if you had an opportunity to be undisputed in front of these type of fans, that you could turn it down? Do you know, I've won every belt in boxing up 10 times from the WBO, WBA, IBF, IBO, Ring Magazine, WBC, every belt there is, British, European, Commonwealth, English, Irish, Intercontinentals, Internationals. I've done it all now, and I'm even the lineal champion, made nine defenses the lineal championship. So this is the end, you know. I've given a lot of blood and snot to this uh, game. I owe the fans one farewell fight tonight, and I, I want out, I'm going out in style. I'm going out with a bang. And, you know, I got a great team, a great family, great support network. And you know what? Go out on a high because you never know with this game. It takes one unlucky punch and it's all over. And I've got nothing more to gain. You know, money is not what I'm about. Legacies, not about. Just want to enjoy my life, be left alone and be able to stay at home with my family and my kids. I've got six young children and I'm going to put a few more buns in my wife's oven before we're out. And, um, yeah, I just want to be a family man and stay at home dad full time. Dylan White is a class fighter. You made it look easy tonight. Obviously, it wasn't, but do you feel like you're retiring at the top of your game? You have the yeah. most fit I've ever seen you. Yeah, I trained for this fight really well. I did 14 weeks in the gym. Uh, good, good dietitian. Uh, big respect to uh, George Lockhart, Sugar Hill, Andy Lee, all the boys. Um, Matty, uh, Christian, uh, and if I missed anybody, Timmy. Uh, big respect to all my team. Uh, you are all amazing. Everyone did a great job. Um, you know, but I, I'm walking out on the top. Big shout out to Spencer Brown, my uh, commercial agent and everything in the UK. He sorts everything out and I trust him wholeheartedly. And he's, me, he's like one of my best friends. So he did a great job with his sponsorships, looking after everything. Big shout out to my lawyer, Robert Davis. He made all the contracts watertight. No motherfucker can get one pound past Robert Davis. So big shout out to him. Big shout out to Frank Warren, Bob Arum, top rank BT Sport, um, and everybody else who made it happen in my career. I want to thank every single person. Well, let's um, talk about your trainers for a minute. We saw Ben Davidson in here. He brought you back from uh, mental yeah. distress. You were super heavy. And then you said Sugar Hill made you the best that you could possibly be. He did. Uh, what did each one of those guys bring to your career? And could you have gotten here without one or the other? No, I believe every, everything we do in life brings us to this this pinnacle moment. You know, all the trainers that I've had, uh, my Uncle Huey, my dad, my Uncle Peter, Ben Davison, um, Brian News, Pat Barrett, um, Robert McCracken, uh, who else? Maybe there's a few more that I forgot, Steve Egan. Um, yeah, so all of these people, they all put their little bit on me and made me the fighter I am. So I was very, very happy with my career. I won every belt, I'm going out on top. Only the second man to retire. After Rocky Marciano, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. I'm doing an Andre Ward. I'm 32 and 0. I'm what, retiring, baby. I'm wait, 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 one more. Man. Tyson, Tyson, one more. One more, Tyson. The, you said you're doing an Andre Ward, but you may be doing more of a Floyd Mayweather. There are so many exhibition possibilities for you in Ghana, even the WWE. Are these the kind of things that you'll participate in? You know, you might see me at SummerSlam uh, very soon. Big shout out to Vince McMahon and all the boys uh, and all the girls. Um, yeah. You got to see me in exhibitions, WWE, movies. Is Ngannou on that list? Hundred percent, Ngannou's on that list. First off, a fight again. It'll be exhibition fights only, um, wrestling matches, stuff like that. Fun and entertainment. Stuff that isn't nerve wracking. Stuff that doesn't keep you up at night. And stuff that's not going to get you in severe injuries. There will be clamour for you to fight Joshua or Usyk. Yep, there will be, but there'll always be somebody else. And you know what? There'll always be somebody else to fight. And the Roman uh, leader, Julius Caesar, said that there'll always be somebody else to fight. So no matter who there is, you know, there's, there's plenty of good heavyweights coming up and it's time for them to have their moment in the sun. And me, this old bald fat guy, we're out. I've done enough. I'm very happy with who I am, where I am, what I've done. Um, very, very happy with my career. As a nod to the American fans, you came out to Biggie Smalls. What made you come out to Biggie Smalls from Brooklyn? Because it was all a dream. You know, I used to read about it in the boxing news magazine. <laughs> Radio Ryan with Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, obviously. You know, I hit him, Pete's one game over. You said exactly that. You said you were gonna, he was going to try and attack you. He'd hit a jab and then he'd dip and he'd land on an uppercut. And that's exactly what happened. Talk us through that shot. You know, I was looking for it for the first few rounds and it wasn't there. 
I just kept him moving his head to the side, moving to the side, touching to the body. I think it was about round. What round was the knockout in? Six. Six. Two minutes fifty-nine of the sixth round. I touched him to the body with one there, and I thought slip, bang, like that. And it was over. I knew he wasn't getting up. It was a detonation shot. Um, it was the Lennox Lewis uppercut, right uppercut. And, you know, I used to throw a lot of uppercuts when I was an amateur, an early pro, and I saw the opportunity, so I let it rip, and it was a, it was a, it was a missile. Did you feel him tiring in there? Dillian's a big, strong man. Um, and I didn't want to get in too much of a tussle with him. He was trying to make it dirty in there. He was trying to make, make it a rough fight, which he had to. Um, just take nothing away from him for that. He's heavyweight, and it's not valid, Anton. It's heavyweight boxing. But um, it, it was a rough old fight, and it was what it was. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. Can he still go on to become a world champion? I think he can. I think Dylan can go on to be a world champion, but tonight he met a great. He didn't box a world champion. He met a legend in the game. Thank you for, thank you for a wonderful career, Tyson. You're a great heavyweight champion. Radio Raheem with Tyson Fury.